NDW is a, an alliance, a cooperation of 19 um, road authorities in the Netherlands. Um, most of them are provinces, but also the main uh, large municipalities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and also the National Road Authority are uh, our partner in this. And NDW is, uh, um, well, uh, or, uh, initiated to um, uh, work together in uh, collecting traffic data and uh, distributing traffic information to all these road authorities. And here you see one of the uh, organizations uh, which are uh, cooperating together. Um, you can go to the next slide. Um, yeah. Uh, the NDW, I already told it a little bit yet, the, the, the goal of NDW is to uh, develop a shared data warehouse of traffic data. Uh, we also uh, have um, a, a portal, a data portal, uh, where all uh, partners uh, have access to, where they uh, can store their data and also uh, collect, uh, store the data and also distribute them, all these data. So there is also, yeah, uh, 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 it makes the, the, the data processing also more efficient because some smaller uh, municipalities or smaller organizations, they do not always have the um, uh, knowledge to do all this and, and when working together, we can also share, they can also share their, um, well, they can share budgets, uh, financial resources, and also human resources. Um, and uh, the, in this way, we can uh, yeah, stimulate effective input of uh, using this data for traffic management, uh, traffic policy research, and also distributing all kinds of traffic information uh, while making the process more efficient. Um, we do have uh, real-time uh, traffic data, but we also uh, have a large uh, historical database where we store all this data uh, and making them available for uh, research and also uh, yeah, uh, modeling, uh, develop, model development. Um, Michelle is still don't there? No, then I will proceed with the next slide. Um, yeah, NDW, now it exists, I think now for about 10 years. Uh, well, that's not true. It started in 2008 about, so yeah, more than 10 years. And uh, well, over these years, of course, I don't have to um, tell you that the technology also in data technology um, uh, developed rapidly. Uh, many data streams uh, uh, developed uh, or became available. Also, uh, acquisition technique and collection uh, techniques to collect data. And, uh, uh, a lot of um, uh, data from sensors become became available. And uh, uh, also in the Netherlands, uh, there is also uh, um, well the, the government. Um, stimulates as much as pos possible for uh, to uh, uh, make data as much as possible available to everybody. So uh, stimulate open data policy, so that as much as possible people can use these data for their um, own purposes. But as I already told uh, NDW, it is. Uh, a cooperation of uh, road authorities in the Netherlands. They, these are our partners, as we, we call them. And of course, they are also paying for it. So they have some kind of um, more privileges when it comes to these data. But uh, also private companies like consultants working for these partners can enter our data sources um, uh, quite uh, easily. Well, it is a national data. We are the national access point for this kind of data. Um, and now we are also working together with other kind of national access points like the, the one for uh, public transport and um, for uh, uh, vehicle registrations in order to, well, uh, 
uh, uh, get to a national access point for all kinds of mobility uh, data and in order to facilitate also the smart mobility uh, 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 goals that the, 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 the Dutch uh, Ministry for Infrastructure has. And also, uh, yeah, another kind we do, that is a little bit my function, we also do uh, at, uh, give advices uh, and consult. We also offer, um, offer uh, consultancy service ourselves. We do not compete with the um, private companies, uh, but we are more there between the private uh, consultancy firms and the public authorities to uh, more ease the, the, the collaboration together in order also to uh, give um, public uh, road authorities uh, to help them uh, when they want to um, um, commission uh, a project to a, 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 a private firm in order that they are, uh, yeah, uh, are being facilitated to uh, define their um, assignment properly. So yeah, I think it is always finding for uh, a, a, a challenge for us to find a balance between the, the interest of the private uh, companies and the, the public road authorities. But well, that is uh, well a way of working. Now we are um, becoming better and better. Uh, and also, yeah, we, we can also facilitate, facilitate uh, public partners to do outsourcing uh, in house in their own direction. We can do the next slide. Uh, well, then I come to my part, which I am a little bit more familiar with. Um, as Michel indeed already uh, introduced, um, we did a, a project on probe vehicle data. It's more a research experiment, uh, uh, what we can uh, do with all these data. And due to ongoing technical developments in the field of vehicle connectivity, an increasing number of uh, advanced driver systems a driver assistance systems will share road safety information. Uh, and in 2013, uh, yeah, 2013, the European Commission supplemented the regulation to provide this kind of information free of charge to users, mainly working in the public uh, domain. Um, and this information uh, has been categorized in eight, eight uh, event categories, as you see uh, them here. These are the so-called SRTI event types that, uh, well, manufacturers ha uh, uh, has to uh, share uh, with, with uh, public organizations. And as a consequence, uh, dedicated national access points like the NDW are in charge are in charge to uh, uh, provide the SRTI data stream to the public. Uh, and here in the Netherlands, the, 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 the Ministry for, of Infrastructure uh, commissioned the NDW to execute these tasks uh, here. And the next slide uh, shows the, 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 um, the process scheme and also the main NDW activities uh, on the data processing tasks. Well, our main tasks are in the harmonization of the different data formats provided by, by the vehicle manufacturers and other service uh, providers. Um, well, the visualization of, of, all these, uh, of all these harmonized data and also the use of this data for analytical uh, purposes like um, the use cases as defined by the product owners group and the, the PUG and uh, we uh, defined uh, yeah, of we um, yeah, that we, we, we discussed with them and, and came to five uh, teams like traffic management, incident management, prediction safety, surface information and access management. And within these teams we uh, defined some use cases. Um, regarding the processing activities, uh, we hired um, the German consultancy firm Define to assist us in, in all these things. And together with Define, we were able to set up an uh, ETL process, uh, extract, transform and load uh, process to load uh, all these 
different kinds of data provided by the surface providers and car uh, uh, manufacturers. Um, to uh, load all these data uh, in a re relational database in PostgreSQL in order to do the analytic analytics with uh, SQL uh, statements, which well, is broadly uh, uh, used for uh, analytics. And uh, then we were able to implement the, 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 the use cases as defined by the POG, the product owner group. And in the next slide, um, yeah, in this slide, you, you, this slide illustrates, uh, well, the, the, the main contents of a vehicle event message we, uh, we, re, we receive. The smallest data items are the, uh, the, the smallest data items we receive are the event uh, trace and the event type. And uh, the glue to link these items uh, together to get a unique message is uh, uh, the time uh, stamp. And um, uh, well, of course, the trace has a, a coordinate, uh, longitude, latitude, uh, in order to look the location. And at the jaw, with the jaw, we mean the direction of the movement. And the event type, well, we try to uh, link these types as much as possible to the uh, SRTI -S -R uh, event types I just presented. And uh, well, here you see the, the, the again, uh, the SRT event types, and, but of course, every uh, data provider still has its own event types. Um, but most traces, they, they contain a tw 21 position, uh, one unique event, and uh, the timestamps, uh, well, it is more or less 20 seconds on average. And yeah, you can go to the next slide. Uh, yeah, here, here you see some uh, uh, results of our explanatory data analysis of uh, one month of uh, data in, in, in September. This is the month of September in the, the uh, not last, yeah, yeah, last year. And on the left, you see a distribution of the event types we, we found. And I have to mention that for a, a certain data provider, we were not able to get all unique messages. So there are still some duplicates in the data, uh, uh, mainly in the category vehicle in difficulty. So uh, this distribution is not really uh, a good representation of all unique uh, uh, event types, but it, it gives some uh, idea what kind of message, what kind of events uh, are in the data. And well, uh, in the previous presentation, there was also a discussion about data quality. Of course, we don't have uh, yeah, a good reference data source uh, um, to um, uh, compare it. But well, you see here a, a distribution of the amount of uh, events throughout the day. And uh, uh, we distinguish between weekend days and working days. And then you see some kind of uh, pattern, which is quite common uh, in, in traffic. So that gives some confidence in the data quality. Uh, yeah, you can uh, go to the next slide. Um, yes. Um, in the remainder of my presentation, I want to address uh, two use cases we, we um, uh, implemented and which we also included in a published article about this uh, theme, about this subject. Uh, the first is about the matching of incidents between several sources. Uh, NDW collects also incidents from other uh, uh, sources which are stored in, uh, in, in our data portal. Dexter is, it, is the name. And uh, well, due, due to the dip duplicate issue I previously mentioned, uh, we used only the data stream of one of the car manufacturers for which we don't have that issue. And uh, well, as you can see here, we tried uh, for every propical accident, we tried to find the, uh, well, um, corresponding incident as uh, stored in Dexter. Uh, well, 
between um, for the, the time period uh, July, uh, 8th of July to 7th of September. There are not many found, but there's also one car, a car manufacturer uh, to, 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 uh, which I have to mention. Um, from the four uh, accidents uh, detected from vehicles, so from, from vehicle data, there were four also found on the highways. There were four also found in Dexter and one was not uh, in Dexter. And uh, interesting, in the off-highway, we see that uh, about, uh, well, we found more than 90 uh, profical, in the profical days, we found more than 90 accidents, but 85 were not found in Dexter. We could not find a match with the incidents in Dexter. And uh, on forehand, we, we a little bit expected it because the, the Dexter uh, source, of the Dexter incident registration is rather focused on the highways. We know that the, 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 the National Road Authority um, uh, well, has more uh, capacity to 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 registrate all the accidents, and on the off uh, off the highway, the registration is well not so uh, not so good. And well, I think this result indeed illustrates or confirms the hypo of the yeah the hypothesis we we already um, had on that. Um, yeah, and then in the next slide. Uh, uh, yeah, in addition to this, uh, to the increased coverage of uh, incidents, ProPrecal data promises also to provide accident, uh, of to, yeah, to provide accidents, ex uh, events more faster to provide the messages more faster and regarding latency uh, the in the accident messages originating uh, directly from vehicles arrive on average about 10 minutes earlier than the messages we find in uh, dexter or uh, in our data of in our other data source and uh, furthermore also the geographic location of the accidents is uh, are recorded with well i think kind of high precision and most matches uh, from the other source could be found within a radius of 500 uh, meters. Um, yes, and in, in the next, I don't know about the time, I still have some. Uh, yeah. uh, Not really. Okay, I will make a quick, this is also, I think, one of the last uh, slides. And also the last use case I want to mention is this about uh, weather and traffic. Um, uh, well, we also, uh, uh, in the data, we all, in the profical data, we, we also have uh, some information about uh, uh, risky weather conditions. And in one use case, we wanted to, to match the, 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 the profical data regarding to this weather information with the uh, weather information from the Royal uh, Meteorological Institute in the Netherlands, uh, responsible, who is responsible for the weather data in the weather forecast. And uh, yeah, we, I think, I, yeah, if you go to the next slide, here you see, we try to find some correlation between the amount of air representation and the number of hydroplaning events, events per, per hour we found in the propical data. The correlation coefficient was not really high, but as you can see, the, the, there is some correlation. <laughs> the inclination is that uh, it is positively the higher of the more uh, precipitation, also the higher the number of hydroplaning events per hour we, we found in the data. So again, uh, it, it gives some confidence that the data quality is um, enough or sufficient for, for use. And for, for now, I think I want to conclude with this one. <laughs>